Hey, so I'm getting ready to do the second part of the insulation, uh, and I think I mentioned this, but I'm starting in the V-berth uh, because it's just smaller and easier, and if I mess up, it's less likely to be noticed. Uh, so the first part uh, of the fiberglassing involves uh, getting the vinyl off of the wall and getting the glue that held it there off, and then finally I took a four-inch uh, rotary grinder. Um, I think ours is a Makita, great little tool, and uh, uh, I ground off the uh, gel coat off of the inside of the the V berth. And what I wanted to do was expose the fiberglass because I'm going to be fiberglassing uh, wood. Uh, these hemlock pieces I got from Goodwill, or I mean from uh, 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 Home Depot, and they're three fourths inch by half inch. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fiberglass these to the hull, uh, and I wanted to rough it up because. Um, the epoxy that I'm going to be fiberglassing with adheres better to the polyester resin used to fiberglass this hole than it does to the epoxy gel coat. So it's been roughened up mechanically, the gel coat's been removed. Um, I've got my hemlock cut into its 20 inches and I, uh, and I split it into three, three pieces so that it would be better able to conform to the the slight curve of the hull and um, so they're you know each piece is about seven inches long and uh, uh, like I said yeah just cut them into three pieces and what I'm going to do is after I uh, or probably before I fiberglass them I'm going to drill into it and mount a T-nut and I'll take pictures of that so you can see what it is but it's it's a it's an insert with a threaded center so then I'll be able to use finish washers to hold everything on and by fiberglassing these wooden slats uh, to the hull I'll be able to uh, use standardized construction uh, insulation um, I'm using the formula uh, half inch uh, uh, extruded polyester polyethylene uh, foam and, uh, and I'll mount that in between, and then over the top I'll be able to uh, do some upholstery. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do for that yet. So, so that's so fiberglassing is the next step, and then I can mount the insulation.